All right, welcome in. We're going to look at the market's recent price action and attempt to answer the question, when will Cardano's ADA break out? I also have the latest meme coin alpha for you, the new meta that is starting to run. I'll get to that towards the end of the show. Between now and then, so much news. Okay, the final days of farming a massive ETH L2 airdrop is out there. A lot of Cardano project updates for you. We have members of the Cardano community calling for a boycott of a major investment firm as well. But welcome into the Ada Boys, where every day on this channel, we come together, give you the latest crypto and Cardano news in about 20 minutes. I'm Gavin Dawson. Uh, Tex is out closing deals again. You know how he does with the fiat mining. So he's uh, going to resume a regular schedule here on the show real soon. Just had a career shift. And, you know, he's putting in that work, uh, learning all, all the new things to learn and getting everybody trained up. So a lot of coins are pumping, though. Ada is not. Let's talk about it here i'll jump over here and share my screen there we have uh looking at the ada on the daily and uh, the blue line here is the 200 day moving average which is key because that is you know signaling when you are bullish when you're above that line when you're below that bearish and that has been a, a consistent indicator for uh bitcoin and a lot of altcoins so we need to get over that and you see the last time we did move over that which was in october of 2020 23 it signaled this massive run up to 80 cents so that's the power of the 200 day moving average um and if you go back here and look at our recent trend since this low set on august 5th of 2024 we have been making higher lows once here once here once here and then maybe once here so a series of higher lows are being put in and we also have a couple of higher highs so far this one on uh the 20 fifth or the 24th of august and then slightly higher on the 27th of september so there has been 30 plus days in between these peaks it is a long playing out trend reversal on ada but as you could imagine over here when we put in this next higher high i'm anticipating it in the final week of october that's also simultaneously going to uh, pick us over the 200 day moving average so we are in great shape. Obviously, we could really use a major altcoin season. That might take until 2025 to, you know, actually kick in and get BTC dominance at the levels that would give us a true altcoin season. But between now and then, there's lots of room for growth. Maybe this push would take us close to a dollar. And then in 2025, after a cool down, you know, you'd get that run and hopefully challenge uh, an all-time high. But last time we popped our heads over the the 200 day ma uh we made a 250 percent pump to 80 cents and you know we should be ready to rock and roll real soon this is it this is what we wait all cycle for four years to get to q4 of the having year so congratulations if you are here it's time to party guys OK, here's a story on on price action. What ADA needs to break out of the neutral zone. They're looking at the neutral RSI and they're looking at a symmetrical triangle here. This wedge, by the way, closes if you look down here in very early November. So I bet we'll get resolution. They're also looking at Bollinger Bands tightening here in this story on AMBcrypto.com. Fairly credible uh, outlet. You know, they don't do too much. Uh, Cardano FUD or or any nonsense, but definitely confluence with what I was just talking about there on the chart for the timing of the mood. Uh, the, the top side of the wedge, by the way, is at uh, 37 cents. So if you're looking for, hey, when would be a good time to put in a long, you know, maybe a low leverage long, not financial advice. I don't think we'd you know, if you put in 2x, I don't think we're going to go below 20 cents for a while. Probably not ever. Uh, but that spring back test spring, maybe at 36 and a half or 37 cents, depending on, you know, when exactly we get that move would be a good idea. The snack community is fired up. Run started September 19th. Since then, up 65% on the ADA pair. This is where the move was, September 18th, my bad. September 19th was the big green candle. Crazy to imagine where this thing can go when ADA does actually break out as we're just a 30% move or so from the uh, ADA pair all-time high, which was set you know, just a week before Christmas. 
Um, but hit that like and sub if you want Snack to a dollar. <laughs> uh, if you want uh, or Snack to a to a new, a new dollar pair. Uh, all-time high is what I should have said here, maybe by the end of the month. The friend community fired up as well. Similar things happening for them. I am uh, I, I pulled a fib right here looking for an entry if you're you know trying to DCA in. We're going to hit the 236 fib level. The 382 is down at 576. But after massive parabolic runs, and what did we do here? 60% over the course of a couple of weeks. I'm trying to come back to the golden pocket. My friend bag is already massive. It's approaching a billion friend. But if I wanted to you know, buy another half billion or something, where would be the price to get back in? If you zoom out, the, the former uh, bottom, that was multi-months. I mean, from February of 2024 to August of 2024, eight months of bottom. We're still a 2X from there. So, you know, this could already be a massive generational buying opportunity if you just want to crank in right now. But I, I think we might still retrace significantly from right now at 664. Maybe I'm looking for 45 to DCA back into that thing if we do get a dump. But I mean, as as I've said here in, in, in recent weeks and in just this video, we might get a big massive move anytime for ADA. Uh, we might get a massive move for any of these coins at any time because the time is ripe. It's actually overdue for a, a, a big run. So, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe maybe now is not the time for patience, especially if you're looking at an already great entry historically there for friend. Community's fired up though. It's it's so fun to see the vibes and the memes back and all the, you know, names that we recognize from the friend pump of winter, you know, back back in the mix. It's been an insane ride when you look at their X page being taken away, their founder bailing, defaulting on loans worth tens of thousands of ADA. And uh, here they are, obviously a, a massive trend reversal. Elsewhere on Tap Tools, Yam4 got a big bounce here from that crash yesterday. Their CBLP token was up like 75%. Now it's up 53% in the last 24 hours, but still down 63% over the last week as they had, um, you know, a series of, of unlocks there um, and, and people went to market and, and dumped it. OK, OK, looking at coin gecko here, Bitcoin is a flat 0.0 percent in the last 24 hours. We've seen the highest BTC prices since July now, though, and we're just getting started. Smash that like button if you want to see Bitcoin at all time highs here. We are what a 10 percent move away, just a little bit more than that uh, from getting over 75,000 and, and starting the party. Cardano down 2.5%. That's the biggest move inside the top 20 other than SHIB down 3.6%. Fairly flat day. Caspa's down 7%, though. Injective, a big winner here in the top 50. Uh, injective up 3.6%. HBAR down 4.6% as we continue to look at the top 100. Popcat's a big winner. Up 7.2%. Brett on base up 1.6%. And a new meme uh, checking into the top 100 is Mew Cats in a Dog World up 5.7% and 50%, 52% actually total in the last week. Okay, up next on the Ada Boys, you do have to wonder how much of this recent pump is October. Uh, just doing its thing. And how much is the world reacting to Donald Trump's increasing lead and the idea that this is good for the crypto markets? On poly market, the odds of his victory are jumping to 62%. How do you plan on trading this political cycle? Leave a comment down below. A lot of money coming in on the, on, on poly market volume recently going over $1 billion wagered. And that's, you know, nearly a, a, a approaching a two to one lead if this trend continues uh, for Mr. Trump as his momentum. I think it took off a couple of weeks ago when the Kamala Harris 60 minute interview hit. You know, it just it, I, I think it became too much for people in the middle uh, to continue to support her on. But uh, who knows? You know, still 20 days or so to go. Speaking of Donald, the DeFi project did not go well. We were highly interested in this because uh, Trump projects have, you know, had great uh, pump of metals um, over the last couple of years with his NFT and stuff. And I thought, wow, a DeFi project. But this was the worst crypto sale I've ever heard of. Um, 
World Liberty Financial Token, uh, Cointelegraph published five reasons. I mean, basically, what you're looking at is only accredited investors were allowed in. And, you know, that's just not the ethos of crypto at all. So I think it, it turned off a lot of crypto people there and it disqualified a lot of crypto people. And then tokens you couldn't transfer out of their ecosystem was a tough spot as well. Under 5% of the pre-sale tokens actually were sold. The website crashed. Just not a good day for the uh, for that uh, Trump crypto team. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe a little ill-advised. I know it was a little cringy when you looked at the founders of that. And it, it really came to be that, that Trump and his sons were really just a promotional marketing arm of it, almost like influencers. And the people behind the project, I, I just don't think had a, enough sophistication, experience, or, um, you know, had their finger on the pulse of what really is going to make a crypto project sale happen. We have some more cool Cardano updates coming in just a second. Uh, here's just a snapshot of what's been popping up in the overall crypto world in the last 24 hours. I highly recommend you follow uh, crypto uh, at, at Virtual Bacon over here on crypto Twitter. Italy plans to raise capital gains tax on Bitcoin from 26 to 42%. That can help. Bitcoin dominance reached a three and a half year high. We talked about that on yesterday's show. Um, an early Bitcoin whale has moved another 630 grand to Kraken, totaling 5.4 million in transfers over the past two months. This is ancient, ancient Bitcoin. It's just interesting. Um, crypto security firm Ancilia accidentally shared a wallet drainer link. While trying to help victims of Radiant Capital's $52 million hack, putting users at further risk. What the hell? Hong Kong police arrested 27 suspects in a $46 million crypto romance fraud scheme. Man, they're everywhere. And PayPal's uh, PYUSD has dropped 40% from its August highs of over a billion dollars due to a supply decline on Solana. Okay, we'll have to look more into that. Here we go with the cardano proposed boycott if you're planning to participate hit that like button if you don't mind if if you can't tell we need you to hit the like button okay the spo stake uh uh pool operator uh stake with pride is leading the charge here they're calling for a, a boycott of andreessen horowitz here was stake stake with pride's original post um basically what you're looking at is uh a16z shunned cardano in its state of crypto report right here and it's just another you know way that cardano's feeling slighted and uh deservedly so you know for whatever reason uh, a lot of people on the outside looking in of, of cardano just don't consider it very much when they're putting together lists like this charles hoskinson did reply I don't know if it's uh, down here in the top replies or if I got to go fishing for it, but Charles Hoskins and Cardano founders wrote, remember VCs write about what they invest in and will profit from. Wise words indeed. Okay, uh, up next here on the Ada Boys, I got a little Iagon news for you, don't I, first? Yes, they've made Web2 credit card payments available basically for their Cyclone uh, QS devices. It's file storage and decentralized computing. It's a big deep end play. It's one of the most popular tech plays you could make on Cardano. You're securing their network. You're kind of operating a node or a stake pool with this. I'm not exactly sure how the tech works, but I talked with the guys at, at Rare Evo, and it's it's badass. I mean, it starts at 549. I think that's just the file sharing uh, version where you are you know allowing your computer's storage to be used decentralized and you know people can buy into that and if you do that you earn rewards in the iagon token and then if you want to share computing power as well 649 bucks i have an old gaming computer from when i was playing warzone a lot i built it and it's pretty badass i was thinking about getting the 650 dollars version and plugging that thing in but i need to go see a, a computer repair guy first it keeps crashing keep getting blue screens um, so you know how that whole struggle goes. Salute to our friends Snacks on Chain, Swaggins, and RTB. They have a space coming up with the team at Zerberus, which is for you know blockchain security. They're making a lot of strides in that department. And I saw that um, they are you know they're looking to book their schedule out. Snacks on Chain, I think, is is back with regular shows. So that is pretty pretty cool. All righty. Um, Cardano founder is going to share his vision for Cardano at the, the keynote address there in Argentina. 
This is coming up, uh, his anticipated keynote address, October 18th. So we got a, a date on that. That's pretty cool. Next time, Charles is going to get up there on stage and talk big picture Cardano. D-Bridge uh, had their airdrop early this morning, nearly a half million wallets. It was kind of worth it. I was in the top 10 and got 80 bucks worth. Um, the good news is D-Bridge is, is an amazing dApp for bridging funds um, all over the place. It's very fast. And uh, I highly recommend it. It's very cheap. Speaking of airdrops, the scroll snapshot, the big ETH L2, I've, I've loaded in some extra liquidity. The snapshot is going to be on Saturday. Most of your work is already done here with uh, accumulating scroll marks and badges over the last um, year or so. Meme coin alpha here from Miles, former member of the crypto banter team. Um, you know, uh, and you know, when any anybody in, involved in that ecosystem, you always have to be on the lookout for, you know, suspicious over shilling, <laughs> you know, uh, but hey, I don't I don't think that's what this is. I you know, he Miles is an incredible wealth of information. He's an incredible talent in the uh, coal space and YouTube crypto. And I find his you know, content to always be entertaining. But I think anytime you've ran with a crypto man, ran for an extended period of time, you were plugged into the influencer uh, pump and dump meta. And I don't think there's any way you can hide from that. But again, he's got great narrative crafting. He can let you in on narratives before they get hot. The AI meme coin meta is now in full swing. GOAT is now at $300 million market cap. The mind share is going vertical. Are you in any AI created meme coin play? So you can go over to CoinGecko and search for AI meme coins. There is GOAT. There's Corgi AI and Grok and koala and you know you really get tiny tiny cap here very quickly just in the tens of thousands after you get out of the 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 top 10 or so you know or tens of millions it gets pretty rough you know we're down here uh in really the trenches you can also find you know ai themed meme coins on deck screener of course, the show powered by Katsky AI. We're always saluting those guys for the tools they provide us here in producing the Ada Boys. How about this piece of crypto news? 45% of all investors plan to invest in crypto in the next 12 months. Even though the mainstream media is still kind of fading crypto, the administration hasn't been helping crypto in any way since 2020. The investment community institutions know what time it is. It's time to be getting into crypto. And that means overall, we are still early even though we have a, a, a lot more participants, a lot more you know, development, a lot more infrastructure here than we did last bull run. Um, the foundation is set for us to go parabolic. Congratulations on being here. We'll be back tomorrow with more crypto and Cardano news and storylines, headlines. Till then, shoot you, boy.